coming to you from that once forgotten artery that pulses through the center of the continental United States and into the heart of the Ozarks, Grace Matthews. Looking in from the northern border, our Canadian friend, along with his countrymen, feeling the effects of U.S. political issues, Connor Murphy. Welcome to Dueling Dialogues, episode 219. I'm Connor Murphy here with Grace Matthews and the Hammer in Springfield, Missouri. Hi, you two. Hello, hello. Hey, Hi. what's happening? Summer's here. Yes. Oh, you guys finally got summer up there. Well, it's uh, room temperature on the patio in the shade. So, yeah. It's, okay, it's, that's okay. It, it's okay, except all my yeah. garden is, uh, they did, it didn't really grow. It just like <laughs> started to bloom. Thinking it was yeah. like fall time. Yeah, I mean, ours is our some of our stuff is stunted, right? Because it was really warm in March, then it got really cool, then we got all this rain, and it's just a little stunted. Yeah, shock. It's blooming, but it's like a little short and kind of like yeah. you. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. like your stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that yeah. short. Come on. Yeah. Okay, it's it's crazy. You know, the Democrats all over the country will do anything, and I do mean anything, to try to keep Trump from being elected in the fall, again, for a second term. Right. Okay, I've discovered at least two people that after drawing unemployment for some 10 to 12 weeks, are being required to pay it back. Oh, okay, huh. Okay, okay, when this first happened, it was basically a free-for-all. If you're not working and you've worked, right. send us even a business card. That's what they said for small business owners or, or people that freelance. Right. Send us a business card and you will get unemployment, and everybody will get $600 a week. Right, so it's not so much of a grant as a loan? Well, it wasn't supposed to be. That's not the way Congress passed it. Wow. But the states are asking for it back, which will blow Trump's economy. Ah, oh, very interesting. Wow. Okay, because they've waited long enough. These people have spent it. They've used it for bills. They don't have it. They're gonna have to pay it back, right? Um, and they're they're working out payment plans for people to pay it back. Now, this is not the way Congress intended. Can the states do this? Um, yeah, they can. Oh my! But that doesn't mean they should. They could, or that uh, DC doesn't just need to start screaming and shouting because this will destroy the economy. Right. You know? Yeah, the yeah. object the object of this whole stimulus was to stimulate the economy. Well, now this was the I know, but still part. okay, but still that was part to give them money because basically everybody lost their job, or a lot of people did. Yeah, because no fault of their own. Yeah, because it's not like they didn't want to work; they couldn't work. Right. So the object was to give them stimulus and give them unemployment benefits. So they could continue spending money as you normally would during any time period and to keep the economy moving. I have never heard of anybody being given money and then saying, you know, I've changed my mind. Which is exactly what's going on. You need to give that back. This is tragic, and this is not how we work in the United States. Now, if you want to say, okay, we're cutting all money off on July 15th. We're not going to pay any more $600 unemployment. Okay, do that. But we do not ask to give money unless it's been fraudulently given, of course. Right. We don't ask for money back, you know? Yeah. You, you're sort of grandfathered in. Yeah. This. Uh, wow. I, I wonder if there is a way to challenge that even in court. Um, I think for these people that have no money. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, the way the United States works, unless you've got a pro bono attorney and, you know, you're talking about the amount of time it takes to fight a case in the United States. 
the people will have the 60 months paid back. Right. But these people, for the most part, are working. How are they going to pay it back? They're going to be in default before they ever get started. Yeah, and that does nothing for our economy in the coming months. Absolutely, but it does a great deal if you don't want Trump to be reelected. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree there. That I is think some that shadiness. This is a damn tragedy. Wow. And of course, the people pay the price. Exactly. Oh, I mean, how's that? Yeah, and it's the who are they targeting? The working class people. Yeah. yeah, the people that need it more than anyone. the ones they're supposed to be. Oh yeah, uh, you know, going to bat for. Oh right. yeah, they. Yeah, isn't it funny how those are the people they screw over the most? Yeah. Um, ouch. I mean, if you're on, if you've been on unemployment and you haven't worked since, let's say, maybe March twenty fifth. Around right. about there. Some places it's it's as early as March 1st. Do you really have money to pay anything back? No. Plus, there'll be a hold back when they start back at work, right? Exactly. For some businesses. Yeah, and some businesses aren't going to go back to work. So they're still looking at, you know, two weeks to a month before they'll get their first paycheck if yeah. they started today. You know, exactly. one of the Hammers clients um, had to close up his 50-year-old business. Did you say it was yep. 50-year-old business today? Wow. Um, because of the shutdown. Because of the shutdown, yeah. Um, he ran a maintenance uh, business, and you don't have a lot of maintenance on things when they're shut down. Right, exactly. So, wow. you know, and that's the bad thing. These ma and pa stores who we want to help and protect, they don't have months and months and months of cash just laying around. Right. They're, they're basically the month to month. Well, they're working to make a living. That's yes, it. they're right. you know, and yeah. they're they're paying themselves and their employees, and they're just it's like week to week. I mean, not that they can't go a week, but it's a traditional. They don't. That's why they don't charge you an arm and a leg. That's why everybody wants to do business with these places, and for a state to take advantage of this situation in a pandemic. I, I thought that was like the same thing about when they were bitching about the gas, when gas prices you know, went out of sight. I thought that was like a bad time. You're not supposed to gouge the people. Well, guess what? They were. The state right. just gouged the people too. Yeah. The state and... Um, it's it's very sad, very sad. Wow. Unbelievable. And, and on another sad note, we're we're learning just how corrupt the FBI under the Obama administration was. Okay, and a concerning Michael Flynn, which our listeners are very concerned about the Michael Flynn case, and um, the FBI spying on General Flynn as it seemed like as a means to spy on Trump, truthfully. Right. Okay. This has been a case that everyone has said was uh, handled illegally. Um, anyway, a three judge panel in an upper court decision yesterday decided two to one that this case should be dismissed and that he should have never been spied on. He should have never been exposed. Um, that the FBI, that this was a political ploy. Right. This right. is a D.C. court. Do you know how left-wing the D.C. courts are? Yeah, well, anybody with uh, three brain cells could figure that out. You know, what was exactly. going on. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah, it's he, their, it, it's their uh, career on the line, too, you know? Absolutely. And... Um, General Flynn apparently went on three shows yesterday, and that was the first time he's been able to talk um, right. in public about what has happened to him. And he's still, you know, because they're still trying to finalize all of this, and uh, he's got to recover $6.7 million in legal fees. He lost his house. He wow. lost everything. Everything he owns. 
Wow. And, and still owed money. So um, now there are some experts that are suggesting that the DOJ will just write that check out. Right. And that that will not ever see a courtroom. Well, they, they don't be want ugly. him. Yeah, they don't want him to sue because uh, he could get more than that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You are exactly right. Yeah, do you think that the uh, in a court of his peers, what they would do to what a person who is a distinguished general, what his reputation for, I don't know how many years he was in, 30, 40 years, uh, you, what is that worth? Yeah, yeah, I have a feeling they would think it was worth a whole lot of moolah. Yeah, yeah, they may be cutting a check as we speak, but, yeah. you know, I think it would be funny if Trump um, nominated him to be head of FBI. <laughs> you know, Trump just did say that when this was over, he would consider putting him in the administration again. And I think you're exactly right. I don't know what position that would be an interesting position for him. And Wouldn't one, that be ironic? He's qualified for it. Absolutely. Wouldn't that be ironic, though? Huh? And that would be ironic and awesome. I... I'd be cheering. Yeah, I, I think a lot of us would. Uh, those yeah. of us that want to see the deep state crumble, yeah. Exactly. And, uh, you know, the Trump presidency has gone a long way in exposing a lot of the deep state. Absolutely. And that was one of his campaign promises. Yep. Yeah, you are right. Okay, statutes. Or statues. Statues? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, this is something that you and I have talked a lot about. This came up in, um, I believe it was, I don't know, 2015. It came yeah. up during Charlotte. It yeah, this came, is like round three already. Yeah, this is round three. Yeah. Um, tearing down statues of people that suggest they were involved in slavery or supported slavery I mean first of all we have to remember that if we erase our history like 1984 the book right we are more likely to repeat our mistakes and slavery is a mistake that's been repeated um, how many times since the beginning of time since the beginning of time yeah. it has never stopped yeah you're right somewhere somewhere you know, even in the United States, there are sex slaves. And, you know, there exactly. are all kinds of slaves around yeah. the world. And they and come in all colors and sizes and ages and everything. Exactly. And um, so, although it is a very ugly thing, it is absolutely despicable to think that another human being could be anybody's slave. Right. Erasing it from our history doesn't make it better. It's absolutely wrong. And a lot of people that at one time had slaves did change their ways. Right. I mean, at what point are we going to quit giving people second chances? Well, uh, here's one I want you to think about. Who supported slavery right when the big battle was going on hundreds of years ago, right? Um, you know, it, it was the Democrats supporting slavery. They wanted exactly, slavery. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Lincoln, who basically who freed the slaves, was a Republican. Exactly. So, you know, and I how, think a lot of people don't remember that or never knew it. Well, you I know, saw, sorry, go okay. ahead. Uh, I was just going to say that what did the statue do? <laughs> yeah. The statue did nothing. It's a representation of an event that happened in history. Right. You don't have to like it. You don't have to dislike but you can't it. Really it's just that. a statue, but it happened. It's an event. Yeah. I, you know, there's lots of things, positive and negative, that have happened in the past. And we have learned good and bad from those events. Right. The, the statue has nothing to do with this, it. just a representation. If you ask most of the people the story behind it, I would say 90, 95% couldn't tell you. 
Right. But yet they want to tear it up and destroy it, and just because it's that the mob mentality, just uh, yeah, we, that's one of my pet peeves that that, that when the, the mob gets going, there is no right. They are just out to terrorize and destroy. Um, that's all they're doing. They're 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 not trying to. Uh, protest in a civil way they're out to destroy and, and that that's not right true. True. we've had our own statue uh, drama in the last week someone uh, spray painted Pierre Elliott Trudeau's statue black <laughs> black face oh my gosh are you kidding with which they were meaning you know uh, basically putting a statement out there because of uh, his son Justin how he's you know, using blackface throughout the years, three times, yeah. five times. So he couldn't even count anymore. He didn't remember. Yeah, the heck has done that. So yeah. this is the funny part, though, is they were investigating it as a black hate crime. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was done out of hate. They hated Pierre Elliott and they hate Justin. So it, it kind of yeah. is a hate crime in a way. So, right. uh yeah, that that so same thing going on here, ripping statues down, removing statues, which is is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, now, I mean, they're even taking aim at brands such as Aunt Jemima, Uncle Ben's, things oh, like that. Oh my gosh, I know. When if anybody knew the real history, Aunt Jemima was the first millionaire black woman, businesswoman. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's and the now, likeness of her. And now she's going to be wiped from pop culture? Seriously? So yeah, it, to it, me that's reverse discrimination. Absolutely. So you know, all this these um, uh, protesters on racism are basically doing is wiping the black face from history. Exactly. And 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 have you ever seen in your lifetime? I don't think I have race relations this bad. Yeah, this is it, it, I, it's pretty horrible. I am seeing seeing people that I believe are becoming more racist to work. Right. right. They're almost forcing it on you to become that way. They are sticking it out there and, um, you know, you just, you got to be careful. Yeah, you do very, have to be careful. Be very, very and, careful. And as they say, you can't the slip blame is a few for the whole. You right. can't blame a few bad apples for the whole. So right. be careful about jumping into racism if you haven't been, because there's a few bad apples act, out there acting poorly. Right. Absolutely. You know, if you if you think about it, um, you know the founder of Bet Television right. has warned Joe Biden and top Democrats that they're taking black voters for granted. By buying into these protesters or or rioters, right? This well, is wrong. He says touring, um, tearing down the statues are wrong. And now this man is the first black billionaire. I have a feeling that people are going to listen to him. Right. Well, I I have a little bit to add there too. Has anybody traced where donations to Black Lives Matters go? No. I mean, I don't know. Well, um, I've seen evidence that show it all trickles down to support Joe Biden. Right. His campaign, everything. Oh, Drill boy. down. Drill down. Find out what companies are involved. Who owns those companies? What do those companies do? And, that is big. Uh-huh. Yeah, so yeah. no wonder they're they're wanting these protests to go on and on and on. They're the, it's their cash cow. Yeah, you're so, exactly right. And that's, look into where those donations are going, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's sitting in his basement and he's taking in more money than um, you can imagine. I mean, the Democrat, I mean, the Republicans are having a cow. I'm getting a text every ten seconds. Right. About Joe Biden's taking in all this money. Well, how can he? He's sitting in his basement. I think it's, you're onto it there, yeah. Connor. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, you're onto it. Follow the money. Follow, follow the, the money, money, people. Before yeah. you just open your wallet and donate, figure out where that do, those donations are going to. Yeah. Now, it might be going to tear down your, your own darn business. Absolutely. Or burn it down. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 
And and then that gets to the polls. You know, polls have Trump thirty six percent down. Wow. I mean oh. that that is so big. Of course, that was in the New York Times yesterday, right? right. Yeah, it was fifty percent Biden, thirty six percent Trump. Oh, okay. I and so he was fourteen percentage points down. Oh, sorry. And so, well, sometimes grace math it gets a little off, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I can't win any of the card games, you know. Yeah. So, anyway, but uh, it, it just the I I would like to, and I God I hope I'm right. And we were talking about this. I would like to know where they're taking these polls. Right. Exactly. Because in the if you get away from the coast on either the west or the east coast here, my belief is that. The Midwestern and Southwestern, Eastern, however you want to break it down. These are the people that are Trump supporters. They know what's going on, and the main thing is they will vote. Right. Yeah, Trump supporters do vote. Now, the Democrats have trouble with their people actually going to the polls. Right, because they don't like to leave their house. Yeah, they don't like to leave their house, and that's going to be a specifically a problem during COVID. But those protesters and rioters out there probably aren't even registered to vote. Probably not. We found the same problem with Bernie, remember? Right. I mean, Bernie had a heck of a lot more supporters than he had voters. Simply, mostly Bernie's problem was they weren't old enough. Right. So, um, you know, it's getting crazy. And with lawlessness which is our next topic, taking over. How secure are people going to be leaving their house? I mean, you've got some cities where they have absolutely refused to let the police come in and, and do any any policing. I know. Um, eventually, I think they'll bring the army in, and then you've got a bit of martial law happening, opening it up back for the police maybe but uh, that's got to stop that's just ridiculousness well and like you once said does that also give Congress and the government the ability to police the states and the and the municipalities yeah, I'd, yeah. that's kind of the way the law works I yeah, mean you know exactly. it's so bad today that I'm driving down um, a lot of our, our people know probably Republic Road and there's a stretch of it you can go pretty fast and there's two cops sitting there on motorcycles i'm like holy cow i've got i said oh what can i do if they pull me over right right i'm thinking i can just start screaming this lawlessness you know yeah. are they even going to be able to write tickets anymore uh, yeah who knows i mean uh, i i think the the best friend of a cop going forward is his own police camera they should all have oh them. Gosh, you are right. I would not want to breathe without that camera on. Absolutely. So, you know, uh, yeah, not a good time to probably be a policeman. That's for sure. No, I, my heart not goes at out all. to them. Not at all. No, that's, that's true. But, um, and, and I got to wonder how much they're letting things go because, like I said, I was over the speed limit and they were set, both of them sitting there. And they didn't even attempt to come after me. Right. And so I got to wonder if they're going to start letting things like that go because they don't know who they're pulling over. Right. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know how bad it's going to get. That might sound extreme, but I don't think so. Right. We have had shootings almost every day for the last 10 days. Yeah. Well, we have had for the last 10 days in Springfield. I mean, we used to get like maybe two shootings a year. Right. But we are getting, one day we have four. Wow. I mean, it's getting crazy. No, the safest neighborhood is the neighborhood right next door to the welfare office. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no that's one's going to burn point. that shit down. Oh, no, they got to have that. Got to get that check again. That's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, I tell you one thing that might help is um, Trump has made sure uh, that he has covered the country with conservative judges. Good, good. Um, the 200th judge has just been confirmed. 
regardless whether Trump gets elected or not, his legacy will live on throughout those judges. Good. Good to hear. And that may save um, our country or the continuity of our country. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Good to hear. And unfortunately, we have to talk a little bit about COVID-19 because it is big, bad, and on the increase, especially in places where it had not before. Right, exactly. It's gotten so bad that New York has named at least 14 states that they will, if you come from those states, you will have to go into a 14-day quarantine. Right. Well, I think it, I think they knew this was coming, the second, third wave possibly of it. Um, absolutely. But if did. you're sick, God, stay home for crying stay out loud. Home. What the hell? Yeah, and I mean, these places do need to take temperatures. I think that's more important than the whole mask thing. Yeah, you know? I, I agree. We've had a whole lot of people in this town go to work sick. Right. Yeah, because and, you and don't know And they're mostly in sometimes. jobs where they can't afford to stay home. And hell, I guess they'll have to pay back their unemployment. Yeah, like one that's of those... That's going to make this worse. One of those little uh, laser guns, what, like 50, 60 bucks? Every business should oh, have yeah. one. Yeah, you know. I think you can probably get one here for 30. We get shot every morning. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah. do. They get Good. the... Take the hammer temperature. I would yeah, too. they do, and they, they put it... Um, in the computer and so they have record of it to show that um, we, doing their due we are doing our due diligence and uh, good for you I, I was talking to uh, one of my customers and they have uh, 1200 employees and I asked them if, if they had had any trouble and they said they had two people get it of which neither one of them they thought they had it did not come to work Good for them. And so it wasn't bad. They had to do the 14-day uh, quarantine, and they were fine. But, you know, just to, as we talk on the show all the time, common sense. Yeah. Well, people. And it's just criminal common to sense. If you feel a little people. bad, you know what? You call in. And you know what they're going to tell you? No problem. We don't yeah, want you here. Yeah. yeah. I'll see absolutely. you in 14 days. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so, overall, what does this increase mean? Will places start to shut down? I mean, right now, as we speak, uh, for Springfield, they are considering make, making you and mandating mask wear everywhere. Uh, for, um, I heard three years old and up. I don't think you can make a three year old wear a mask. Yeah, I think they got to be at least five. I mean, I think that's ridiculous. Uh, but the other question is, and one that's being thrown around here, and I'm sure everywhere, is will schools go back in August? Now, um, I think the Hammer has some information on our local schools. They did a survey. They wanted to know if parents wanted their kids to go back to school. Right. Yes. And how did that turn they out? They did. Yeah. Uh, Springfield school system, 93% of the parents wanted their kids back at school. <laughs> that yeah. says a lot right there. Yeah, that's <laughs> trying, that's, they're trying to keep their sanity. Right? Yeah. We all know that. But no, and, and we talked about this before. Yeah. Kids, the interaction. Yeah. You, you, kids have to have structure. They have to, they need. Well, they're starting to get some social issues. Yes, and, and, and they need to. Play, hang around, converse, whatever they're doing with all sorts of different people, cultures. Uh, it's just the way the world is, and you, the earlier in life you can start those um, fundamentals of learning how to interact with all different kinds of people, the much better that that person will be as they grow up in life because let's face it this whole world isn't getting any easier no yep. it's not and i tell you what's going to get really bad and I, I i don't know if the hammer knows about this but there's a massive plume of dust headed our way yeah from the that. caribbean and the worst in 50 years it is was created on the sahara and it's coming our way. Um, it will create haziness and dust everywhere. And um, all I can think about is 
all of our stuff outside, <laughs> including our swimming yeah. facility. But, um, it's going to hit Chicago really hard and Springfield and Missouri right in the path. Yeah. Oh, we're always in that jet stream. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I don't have to worry about that one out here. Yeah. No, you don't. You yeah. don't. You're going to be clean. And without people with allergies, they'll just love this. Oh my gosh, that's going to be terrible. <laughs> yeah. But we won't. It'll it'll cover up the sun, kind of like when um, forest fires. Yeah. Well, yeah. And when it was it, what was it? Mount St. Helens. Yep. Yeah. Right. We right. got that cloud that summer. It was the coldest summer. We couldn't even grow green beans around here. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was uh, horrible. My kids were like. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was a horrible summer. And if yeah. you don't have green beans and uh, tomatoes in and this area. Swim. Oh my god. <laughs> in this area the, the world is, has ended. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was it was spooky, but anyway, um we'll look um we will look forward to that, that's for sure. Right. Well, I, I'm just gonna say that uh, you know, back to what the hammer was saying about kids need that. I, I absolutely agree with that. That's yes. that's an absolute necessity. Yes, and we don't always agree about life's a journey, and boy, are we all in it together lately. <laughs> yeah, yep. everything affects everybody. Um, Godspeed, Connor. Thanks for listening, everyone, and Godspeed. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Godspeed, you too, and thanks for listening, everyone. Bye now. <laughs>